Hammerhead City, North Carolina, the winter sea has a short temper. A 30 knot tantrum followed by bluebird skies. A different world for a captain from the cool, calm Pacific who's here to land his first Atlantic bluefin tuna. Overall, the trip was pretty awesome. Like 1,100 pounds of awesome. December and the bluefin tuna bite is on. Unfortunately, between the weather and strictly enforced quotas, the window of opportunity narrows with every passing hour. So get yourself the right crew and make haste. Bluefin fishing here in December is tough. The weather is always playing a factor. We can't always get where we want to fish. It's rough here on a regular basis. You might get a morning weather window or you might get an afternoon weather window, but whether that matches up with when the tunas are biting or when they're in an area that we know about doesn't always match up. So fishing here in December, is, you really got to make your days count and capitalize on every bite you get. For this episode, we fish with one of our favorites, Captain Jackie DeFore. Jackie's home waters, Moorhead City a fishing town of only eight square miles, tucked into North Carolina's picturesque Crystal Coast. Our transplant is Captain Brandon Nelson, the man behind Lucky Bee Sport Fishing out of San Diego, California. These two bluefin addicts join forces to land a giant before the season closes. The quota that we get for December or this time frame is a very small piece of the pie for the Atlantic Coast main quota. And this time of year, they're still catching them up north. Hatteras is catching a few fish. Moorhead City is catching a fair amount of fish. The guys up in Massachusetts are catching fish. So everybody's pulling from the same pot. And 39 tons went in seven or eight days this year. So you really had to make your days count. Definitely a totally different ball game from what we have in San Diego in terms of the Pacific Ocean and even San Diego Bay out here. You gotta run through miles and miles of shallow water just to get out to the ocean. The weather is probably the main thing that sticks out to me here in terms of differences between the two coasts. One minute it's freezing cold and raining and the next minute it's kinda nice, 60s and 70s, warm. And it doesn't stay one way for very long. It's only five miles to the fishing grounds. The run is short, but the day is long. Patience and dogged pursuit win the day. Thank you. 
birds, bait, and cannonball jellyfish in one big Atlantic stew. The near shore waters of Moorhead City brim with life. This time of year, there's a tremendous amount of bait in the water. The water up north is starting to cool down. The big schools in Menhaden are coming down the beach. There's lots of bluefish still here inshore. There's just a lot of food forage for the tunas to come and feed on. Unlike San Diego, where Brandon runs three hours to the tuna grounds, we're fishing only a few miles from shore in shallow water. Here in North Carolina, we're fishing five or six miles offshore, and it's 60 feet of water. Back home, we're fishing anywhere from 30 to 130 miles offshore. The water can be a couple hundred feet deep to all the way to a couple thousand feet deep, which is a big difference. There's two techniques we use here. We either troll with ballyhoos or live bait fish when bait is available. I'd much rather live bait fish, but some years there's not a lot of bait around, or some weeks the weather's too bad to go catch bait, so we have to fish with ballyhoos. Both techniques work, but I just got a better hookup percentage with live bait. Just need a shad eater now. You come around and go to the bow on that side. Four bow? Yeah. Angry one. We're doing good. A lot better now that we're tight. When it's this shallow, you know, we're in 57 feet of water, so he can only go one direction, and that's way out. You see all the eelgrass on the line? Is it different than the West Coast? A bluefin's a bluefin, but I think this one's a little bit bigger than the ones we catch out West. And it's really cold. A lot of line up. We're just kind of letting him tow us offshore now. In Moorhead, when we hook them, they usually go right there to the southeast, just start swimming offshore. And uh, we'll see. Hopefully we get them, get them up and down here soon. Son. All that line he just got back. Yeah, I'm gonna take his jacket off in a second. But you strip down the fighting weight. Beginning there, he was making some long runs, a couple of them. Now he's kind of slowly getting a little tired, trying to wear him out. He's still a ways out there, but we're getting some line back. Nah, we're gonna get this rascal. He's a big one. It's a great day fishing when someone asks, How big was your catch? And you say, Oh, a third of a ton.
We've been on this fish for an hour and 57 minutes right now. Almost two hours. Bluefin tuna, a pelagic species that swims at high speeds, a trait that comes in handy when traveling from the Mediterranean Sea to the nearshore waters of North Carolina, as these fish most likely did. You don't even know. This is a real one here. That's a unit, isn't it? Oh, thing was way bigger out of the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, he's about to come in here. Yeah! All right, let her... <laughs> we got her. Six hundred eighty pounds. Day one. It's hard to believe there are bluefin out there more than twice this size. A new day starts before dawn. Trolling, kite fishing, live bait, stick baits, even hand feeding. Anglers catch bluefin many different ways. In Moorhead City, it's trolling with fresh bluefish and minhaden. took a little bit of string, and then just kind of swam at the boat. And I wasn't sure if we had a shark or a blackfin tuna or something smaller. And then after about four or five minutes, I got him almost to the boat, and he took off running to the west, which is also unusual. That's him. But he took enough string, we knew it was a tuna at that point, and put Brandon to work on him. Boom, another Volkswagen takes the bait.
act like he knew what was going on out of the gate. I thought it was going to be a blackfin or a shark or something. And same thing, he's running to the west instead of running offshore. But he'll get his bearings here in a minute. Atlantic bluefin tuna are found from Newfoundland south to the Gulf of Mexico, which makes Moorhead City a migratory middle ground. Kind of pushing out here. Got on mono for a second, but he, he took another run. Seems like another good one. Big splash. Yeah, a lot of water. Way out there. He was probably about 300 yards out. Let the fish hang out out there for 30, 40 minutes, get tired. minutes later he had him at the boat that fish was a lot more kosher <laughs> that one was he a little was, more user friendly. he was more yeah, and the <laughs> weather was a lot nicer yeah, so we that makes a difference that made a big difference we weren't getting blown over top of him when he was circling so that helped out a lot we got her she's on <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Yeah. Shoot. If I had to guess, probably close to four, something like that. I would say solid 400 pounder. I mean, he's going to core in the 300s for sure. He's a solid fish. He's going to be. Over 90 inches, I would say. He did a really good job on the reel. It's really nice to have people that are competent. Yeah. I've had a lot of people come and fight fish with me that are shot and give up 20 minutes into it. <laughs> he, he stuck with it the whole way. Did two see. days in a row. Yeah, two days in a row. Yeah, I'm feeling it now. <laughs> This may very well be Jackie and Brandon's first and last fishing trip together. But hey, there's always this right here, right now. And when you think about it, that's all any of us really have. <laughs>